Good morning, everyone. Jeanette Barrow here. I'm a medium and a channeler. And welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards, see what's in store, what, see what messages Spirit has for us. So I'm using the Wisdom of Avalon Oracle deck again this week. And um, yeah, I wonder how things are going for you. We're midweek this week or midweek today. Let's see what's in store. We've had some interesting messages about like really recognizing what is coming up for us and really choosing what we're doing in this very movement-based week so far. So let's see what they have for us today. All right, I'm gonna do one more shuffle. All right, let's see. Ooh, interesting. Okay, I like this. So what we have is, first of all, the swan, which is transformation. We have the hawk, which is omens and messages. And then we have the stag. This is really cool. And I'm, I have to say, I'm very excited with the movement card we were seeing and that emphasis of movement and change to see then the swan card. This is a really beautiful one. This talks about transformation and trusting your psychic gifts. This means we as a collective, but also you individually are going through these shifts and changes right now, these transformative moments, things are changing and spirit showing me right now, you know, like the whirling of galaxies, when you see that, where it's like whirling down almost like a funnel, but it's whirling around. They said the amount of change we're going through right now in the collective, obviously is their word in the collective, obviously, but as well the individual is also having this swirling change where they really are within that transforming into new. And I'm being shown that it's also like cellularly to energetically, like so much is changing within us. Almost like they keep showing me to, you know, the Cinderella scene in the movie where, you know, the fairy godmother does her thing. And then you see all these stars and she kind of whirls around and then she's transformed it's kind of like we are going through this transformation to completely in mind, body, and spirit. That's what we're undergoing right now. This is a fantastic thing. So I love seeing this card. Now, spirit is going to come through with different omens and messages for you with this hot card to help validate this process, to help validate your experience in it. Um, so that you can feel assured as you move through the steps. Remember, we had the novice card on Monday. And that novice card is kind of like shaky first steps, new beginning, new perspectives. So it's kind of unknown. So we're a little bit shaky, a little cautious. Spirit's going to bring through more messages for you, for us as a collective, so that we feel more supported as we're taking those kind of shaky first steps within this whole world of movement. And what that is doing really is bringing us to this energy of the stag, which is pride and leadership, which is our ability to hold our head high and show up as we are, our ability to be like, yes, this is who I am. This is who I've been transforming into. It feels right for me. I feel safe and secure in myself to hold my head up high and be who I am or hold my head up high and continue to discover who I am. That's what this stag card is about. So it's really beautiful because it's saying, use the momentum of the energies at play right now and allow the transformations to happen for you allow that shifting, allow it to happen. And the more that you're kind of aware and paying attention to it, the more spirit will come in and help support you with signs and symbols. And those signs and symbols or messages can be so many different things from animal symbolisms to certain time you see on the clock regularly, or even a song that comes on the radio one day when you're thinking, you know, am I questioning this? And and then some song comes in the radio or comes on the radio that's like, just believe in something, right? Like it's, it's funny how those synchronicities can happen. And oftentimes, like if it's a song on the radio, the words will almost feel like they're amplified at the moment you need to hear it. It's so amazing how that can happen. And again, the more open and aware we are, the more we can receive those omens and messages in the many, many beautiful ways that they can show up. So I hope that inspires you guys for today. Happy Wednesday. Enjoy your day. Do check out avalonspirit.com as well. Check out the Jeanette Byro podcast this week. Uh, it's a good one on soul imprints. It's a really neat um, out of the box exploration into something that for some of you may stretch your mind a little bit. 
for others, it might be that piece that you've been questioning about your own journey. It might be the aha moment. So check that out as well. And I will see you guys tomorrow.